Hey there everybody, this is Shaggy, welcome to Lavery Song for Sonic Mania and Knuckles, which is the title I actually forgot to say in the uh, previous video. But, um, it's, this is basically another stage where uh, there's no real path diversion. And to be honest, the best thing really isn't, uh, I think, I don't think there's actually any path diversions, diversions at all, apart from actually a tell like there's a little bit in Act 2 that you can actually do. Which you can actually also skip if you have super transformation and uh, a frame perfect with a set with a jump. But uh, yeah, you can almost definitely go entirely the same route to do the side in this area. It's also really easy to uh, get super early. And I was mentioning, I mentioned in the last video uh, the Evolution 2's gimmick of being able to beat of uh, the ring strain and uh, sort of semi complaining that the uh, ring train isn't twice as fast when you're super. Well, the um, little metal bar enemies that spew gas everywhere, when you get hit by the gas, um, that you end up getting a ring drain, your rings start draining away until you get to zero and then you die. And um, with, su with super active, it actually drains at twice the rate, which is. Uh, strange considering that the uh, Illusion 2 uh, smog doesn't actually do that. Another thing I forgot to mention about the Illusion 2 smog, I don't know if I actually mentioned it in the uh, in the site playthrough, is that uh, the, the ring train from the smog can't actually kill you as uh, Ant Knuckles gets to go splat from the pressure. Uh, which is his stupid fault, just standing under it. I was gonna go for the, uh, the lightning shield, but then thought, nah, I don't really need it. Uh, I'm gonna get plenty of rings, and fire shield's useful in case uh, I end up somehow losing super transformation. Well, to be fair, if I'm losing super transformation, it's likely to be like, crushed by something. This, is, this route has a lot of crushy things that I take. This route's also a little easier because uh, rather than needing a big jump to uh, get over a get over a uh, you okay then of course um, to get over a this chasm over here, you can actually just glide over. Just you put one jump, get a glide over, and you that. Uh, further than that, you've got a little bit of an endless loop, right, a little endless mine section there. Oh yeah, that's, uh, that's an interesting thing. But that, that, then again, I'll always complain about not getting the lightning shields. It's because I've got a fire shield, but it's a fire shield here, should you need it? Which is fine. And run to the boss already, which is the same as Sonic. Uh, it comes down, it tries to drill to the ground, it spews lava and takes a hit in its armor, which you can't actually hit. You just have to uh, get hit by lava twice. I don't know if it tries to physically be able to be hit. Um, three times, I think after three times, all of its armor goes, you could hit it anywhere, but uh, you only need to hit it twice. And, uh, yeah, that's his attack point. Doesn't hit rock. It jumps up and down a couple of times and then throws a spike ball. Uh, the spike ball hits, uh, drops down on a place where it's uh, already been drilled out. Or the ground's already been drilled out. It actually breaks the uh, the wooden bit, so you've got a pit of lava there as a hazard. Which is a moot point if you're super or you have a fire shield. So now we're attack two. Act two. Like I said, plays a lot like Sonic, and uh, you can still do a little, um, little trick that cuts like 50% of the level. And it's a lot easier with Knuckles since Knuckles can glide. Um, with Sonic, you actually have to re you rely on the fire shield to get it, get into the um, special stage ring area, or carefully manage your way uh, towards the special stage ring. And this only works if you have super, so uh, yeah, Knuckles can glide, Tails can fly, so I has to be careful. But just like last time, as soon as this um, thing starts, the, the block starts going up, you turn super, you get stuck in the wall. 
And because how this game treats quote unquote Zeps, um, unlike in classic Kurt Sonic games where doing a Zep would uh, send you left and right, depending on the direction you effect, on the opposite direction you effect. So you press left, you press right, you go left. Um, the developers didn't, the developers of Mania didn't like that. Because I think they, I think they, I think it's more playing the speedrunners for that, uh, for getting that to exploit. So instead it goes up and you can do things like that. There's a similar shortcut you can actually, well, I actually will be showing you the Titanic Mark 2 that only Knuckles can do. It's a similar sort of uh, concept. But yeah, that's literally half well. I really should actually record myself legitimately doing this hell because uh, I haven't done that in a long time. Uh, since, I think, since I actually saw that, so I could do that and have Super. Uh, there's also something else that you can do with Super with Knuckles. Um, Knuckles actually, ha right at the end of the zone, has uh, a unique route that he has to go through because of his jump height. Um, with Super, you can actually um, actually go to the route that Sonic takes uh, to get to the boss area. Uh, but it needs very good timing with a jump and some spin dashing. So right here, you land on this uh, step area, you do a spin dash and quickly do a jump, I think you can die as well. And you can actually get enough height, you actually have enough height that you can actually uh, get up to the top area where you actually have to go with sight. Um, I'm actually going to be showing off the, um, the other, the, other, the actual so this is the path that you're supposed to be taking, right now actually. So yeah, it's pretty much the same way you go, but because Knuckles can break down walls, uh, you can actually get this tenon up here as well as go this way. It uh, can be a fairly quick route if you're not uh, confident with doing a frame perfect jump. But uh, all you do is you go through that tube, you go through this whole area, press that button, glide to the nearest wall, climb up, uh, go to the side to avoid this flamethrower, uh, glide back to the side, get the uh, switch, and uh, go through. Uh, Knuckles' uh, other section here, uh, the, the quote unquote empowered section, is pretty much uh, the old Sonic and Knuckles uh, section. But basically, in Sonic and in, um, Knuckles, Sonic had to go this, do this ascent to get to the Emerald Chamber and fight Knuckles and have um, Eggman reveal as uh, the traitor and scumbag that he is, which Knuckles is about to reminisce about now. I also like the fact that uh, these little, this little thoughts like done right in the style of a child's drawing. <laughs> anyway, Nuts gets mad and uh, we get a fight with the Heavy King. Which is unique to Knuckles, um, so he actually gets the um, Heavy Rider, which Knuckles doesn't actually fight. But it basically sort of plays similar to. Um, uh, there's reference to the uh, final boss fight that Knuckles had in um, Sonic 3, where the enemy would use uh, the Master Emerald's power in order to uh, gain an advantage. I also find it funny that Sonic has to take Knuckles' route to the end of this zone, and Knuckles has to take Sonic's route. By the way, that's it for me. Uh, Knuckles also gets a unique cutscene here as well. But yeah, that's it for me. Next up is Metallic Madness. Catch you later.